Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to show you how to temporarily put your player Fortnite character into stasis. And it looks a little something like this. I come into the game and I go over by that first first device. I'm going to hit a mutator device zone and see I'm locked up, but I can look around. And then after five seconds, I, I can move on my way again. So it's just kind of a cool effect where maybe you're playing the game and you're you just want to hold up, hold up, hold up there. For, I want you to pay attention to something, and then on your way, you go. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect, actually. I would like to say that this was easy to do, but actually some of the code was tricky because of one particular element that I'm going to show you in just one second here. All we have in the game is just a verse device and then a mutator zone device. According to the code, I am to pair this mutator zone device with this verse device. And that's it. That's all we have to do. And it's all the rest is in the code. So this is pretty standard up here. Just our modules, hello world device, at editable, mutator zone. And I'm trying to get away from using triggers because one thing, a trigger device, because one of the things is that it requires an optional in. And sometimes that creates problem. And a lot of the other devices are triggered simply by an agent. So that's the one reason why I wanted to go with the mutator zone. What we do is on begin play, we go my mutator, which is right here. Agent enters event. So if you click here on the mutator zone device, it tells you all the different things going on that you can used to trigger your event and this is simply the player entering the zone and then we call this function called stasis state and it's right here and it requires an agent in this line of code basically gets our player as an agent and then converts it to a fort character and then as a fort character then we have access to this put in stasis state and again if I hold control and click it you can see that it says put in stasis. Now the stumbling block here was this, because I'd never seen this before and I didn't really understand what it was. We can click on this and it takes us down here and you see, we see that it's a structure and that it, it takes in this parameters of allow turning, allow falling. It's never really explained anywhere that I could find, but it turns out if you just put stasis dot, stasis underscore args and then curly braces, then you can just put in those parameters, allow turning, inference operator, true. So anyway, there's that. To turn this off, the problem I've noted is that it locks up the character pretty well and you don't, you lose your keyboard control. So we have to have some kind of automatic way to get us out of stasis. So by using spawn, we can call to here and we can unfreeze our fort character. So we then we put it to sleep for five seconds and then here we can just release it from stasis. And if you're curious about this stasis args, there's an alternative way to set it up. I put the code down here. Let me get rid of that indented comment here just so you can see it a little bit better. Because this is a structure, we can. this is how we can also basically instantiate it as a structure S here. And then with that, we can we can just go s dot allow emotes equals true s dot allow turning equals true so this is an alternative way to kind of do the same thing up here so it's just different stasis underscore args so anyway i hope you found this helpful take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time